Bugala bugala fu fu klau to bu kana fari chi bau ku tu tu tu. Or is it li chi pa ka chi? I can never remember that part. Maybe uh, lo bau ta chi ki bau li. No, no. But it's lo bau ta or something. <sighs> is this chanting ever going to work? What is it going to take to get into contact with a powerful juju spirit from another world? <coughs> it worked! Uh, hello? Can you hear me? You do not speak, but I see that you listen. You look so strange. Your clothes, a power stick you hold in your hand. I have never seen a juju like you before. And what is this magic box you watch me on? It is clearly the most important thing in your hut. You do me great honor to watch me on it. My name is Jabalba. I am the powerful shaman of the great and legendary Pupanulu people. For generations we have... Hey! Hey, quiet out there! I'm talking to a juju! Tech, would you shut those people up? This is important! And get Warrior Lock! I want to introduce him to this juju here! I am so sorry, oh strange and powerful juju. There's a lot going on today. That's why I've called upon you for your help. Let me explain. Throughout the history of the Pupanunu people, Shaman, like myself, have known that someday something terrible would happen to our great protector, the Moon Juju. So said the Pupanunu people's prophecy. The Moon Juju is our shield against evil and the source of my Juju power. She is strong and nice and oh, so beautiful. Oh, that's Tlaylock. He's not nice, and he's sure not beautiful. He's jealous and practices bad juju. At the council that chose the new high shaman, he was passed over in favor of me. So last night, Tlaylock decided to take his revenge. Tlaylock crept into the Temple of the Moon with his foul servants, pins and needles, and stole the Moonstones, the source of the Moon Juju's power. The first thing Tlaylock did was to use the Moonstones to change the Pupanunu people into stupid, helpless sheep. Without the Moon Juju, my power was only enough to protect a few. And this is only the beginning of Tlaylock's terrible plan. <laughs> But Tlaylock is a fool. He won't get away with it. For the Pupanunu people's prophecy clearly says a mighty warrior trained by the High Shaman will defeat Tlaylock and save the Moon Juju. I have trained such a warrior. His name is Locke. <coughs> Tech, what are you doing? You told me to go get Locke. Yes, that's right. Go fetch Locke, stop playing with the sheep. I did get Locke. No, you fetched a dirty, stinky animal. That's Locke. See, he's wearing Locke's amulet. Tlaylock must have changed him into a sheep. No, 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 this is all wrong. This isn't in the, the poop, 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 poop. poop -no -no. poop -no -no, people's prophecy. The mighty warrior doesn't become a sheep. The mighty warrior doesn't lick my foot. Stop the licking, Locke. Oh, this is terrible. Can't we just change him back? I don't know. Yes, I've got it. We can change Locke back into a mighty warrior. This great juju spirit who watches us from another world can help. Follow Tech. Protect him with your power. Go with Tech to the ancient burial ground of our ancestors and put the teeth into the statues. And get me some magical lubu plants while you're out. Now go! Both of you! Locke must stop Tlaylock before he destroys the Moon Goddess! Hello, Tack. My name's Flora. 
The moon juju sent me here to hang out with you and help you whenever I can. Well, it's a long road ahead. We better get started. You seem smart enough to figure this out on your own, but you move yourself around by using the move stick, and if you need to jump, it's as simple as pressing the jump button. You can press the jump button twice to perform a double jump. Hey, don't laugh. I like to think of myself as thorough. Oh, I just thought of something else important to tell you. Sometimes you'll notice that the camera's not facing the same direction you want to go. You can use the camera stick to rotate the camera around yourself. If the camera isn't looking in the direction you want, just use the camera stick to rotate it until you see what you need to see. Rotate the camera now to look at me. Great! Now you can do this anytime you need to look at something. Simple enough. In the end, I think you'll find most animals to be helpful in some way or another. If you come across an animal, you should experiment with it to learn how it can help you. Some animals can even be ridden. Oh yes, the mighty rhino. These fellows are great for breaking things into little tiny pieces. Go ahead and jump on board. If you want him to speed up, try giving him a swat with your club. Adventuring, you'll no doubt discover you can pick up certain items. What's cool is that you can throw any item you pick up by just using the action button. If you're tired of carrying an object around and just want to set it down, press the use button. jump, you'll grab onto a ledge. If you're holding something when you grab a ledge, you'll always drop that item. You'll also drop it if you fall off tall ledges. You see this little guy? He's a loop tail monkey and quite mischievous, I might add. Monkeys like this one love throwing coconuts at other animals. Hey, Tack, try throwing the melon at the monkey to see what happens. gonna leave a mark. Ouch. Um, I suggest you move back a little. Remember, those monkeys always throw at whoever's closest to them. Ah! Yeah, you did it! Did you notice that if you toss something at him, he'll toss a coconut at whoever's closest to him? Keep this in mind while you're adventuring. are very valuable. Make sure you pick up any feathers you see. To pick up a feather, just run through it. There are different kinds of feathers you can find in the world. These yellow feathers are health feathers. See how they look like the feather on the top of your head? That's because the feather on your head is also your health meter. When it turns all the way purple, you're out of health. These other feathers also give you health, but their primary use is for magic. As you progress, you'll need mana feathers to do magic. I see your current weapon is the club. Hmm, it's a little basic, but easy to use. Just press the action button to swing the club. Practice on these breakable jars. Look out, Tack! A 
Minerva was hiding in that jar. Use your club. It's gonna take a few hits, but I know you can do it. Nice. I wonder what would happen if you stood on the big leaf. You should try it, Tag. Awesome, Tack! Anytime you want to have the orangutan throw you somewhere, just stand near him and he'll pull down the tree. Will you have to use ropes. Remember though, you'll swing in the direction you're facing, so push the move stick left or right to line yourself up before you jump off. Now it's time to learn about rams. See if you can get past them. You know, whenever the ram's finished sending you flying, he always goes back to the same location. Maybe you could use a melon to lure him away from the door. Try setting a melon down on the ground somewhere near him and see what happens. to help Jabulba turn Locke and the other villagers back into human form. Jabulba said we needed to go to the burial grounds. We can get there from your village. Let's get started. This is Tax Village, home of the Pupanunu people. They're wonderful and really friendly. Too bad most everyone's been turned into a sheep. Hopefully we can help them. Okay, Jack. We need to collect the magical plant so Jabulba can turn Locke back into human form. But first, we need to go to the burial grounds to get the staff. I know the way. Follow me. Tack, I can't be bothered now. Come back when you have the warrior's staff and the plants. burial ground.
This is the burial grounds. All of your ancestors are buried here. Many of them great Pupununu people. Everyone here is watched over by the great warrior king. It's his tomb we have to enter to get the staff. See the statues Jaboba was talking about. We should go over there. See one of the teeth. Let's go get it. Sweet. Woo! Nice job. You got the tooth. Now take it to one of the statues. Hey, Tag, look. When we get all four teeth, I think we'll get access to the tomb.
<laughs> Cough drop? Whoa, are you okay? Oh, that happens all the time. Part of being mummified. You get these dust balls in your throat, they feel like little rocks. So, you're the great warrior of the Poopanunu people's prophecy, mm-hmm. Come to pick up the staff of your ancestors? Well, you don't look so great to me. Me? Oh, I'm not the great warrior. That's Locke's job. I'm just here to take the staff to Jaboba. The prophecy says only the great warrior can have the staff. If you can take the staff from me, mm -hmm, you are meant to have it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. That's my fighting arm. What a drag. Yeah. Take the staff, great warrior. Use it wisely and often. And don't ever touch me again. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did it, Tack. This is a powerful weapon. I bet those awful nerbles don't stand a chance now. Hey, you know what? I bet you can also use this thing to pole vault yourself up onto higher ledges. This could come in handy. Tap, do you remember the plants Jaboba talked about? We should find them. Maybe you should try using your new staff to get up to that door. plants that Jaboba wants. Thank you. 
like it. all the plants here. We should try somewhere else now. Burial grounds is kind of creepy, huh? I know of another place we can get more plants. It's in Tree Village. Follow me. I'll show you the way. this, but this elevator takes you straight to Tree Village. Tack, I'm not seeing any people. It looks like all the Tree Villagers have been turned into sheep as well. It's so sad. These people are so peaceful. Nothing bad should ever happen to them. Yeah. <laughs> 
motor. If you can get that sheep to run, the motor will work. Hey, what if you jump on this motor to see what it does? I saw some sheep when we first got here. I bet bringing a sheep here would do the trick. acorns over there. I think you'll find them to be very useful. Sweet! Woo! Awesome! Now your staff can work as a blowgun. Try to use the acorns to hit things that are far away. Remember, if you want to switch between your club and the blowgun, just press the toggle weapon button.
check it. This rope swings. It looks like it's anchored to the floor. On this vine. It looks too slippery, mm, slimy, and gross. you that lots of animals like to eat melons? <sighs> hey, it looks like the orangutan is sitting in a different tree. Maybe this can help us.
That's all the plants here. We should try somewhere else now. Well, we still need to get more plants. We haven't explored the other side of the island yet, so we should try there next. Owned! Who's the man? Sweet! Chicken Island and Dry Rock Canyon, but you'll need to figure out how to get through this gate. I'll come back as soon as I can.
Whenever you want to, you can take the blimp over to Chicken Island. Chicken Island is home to a people that worship chickens. Mm-hmm, they do. It's really made up of many little islands. The area is filled with air and water geysers.
to Jabulba's hut. He's gonna need these. When in doubt, take the stick out. just a few minutes from here. You can take this tram if you ever need to get there. Ugh, Dry Rock is not a friendly place. The rams are grumpy, the cacti explode, and all the people left a long time ago. Let's not spend any more time here than we have to, okay?
You have the plants. Let's get back to Jabulba's hut. He's gonna need these. Who's the man?
Sweet. When in doubt, take the stick out. and spices, Jabulba. How's Locke doing? Locke, the mighty warrior, has been mindlessly eating grass and leaving little pellets all over the floor of my hut. So I guess he's doing okay for a sheep. You did well, Tack. Now I can perform the transformation spell and bring him back. Oh. But this is not Locke. It's Tobar, Locke's squire. At least your transformation spell worked. Tobar, can you tell us what happened to Locke? <laughs> uh, Jabulba? You sure you did that spell right? Of course I did. You mean it wasn't always like this? Tech, you must go to the tree village and find their shaman. If he has been turned into a sheep, you must fetch his spirit rattle. We will need it. Take this charm. It will allow you to enter the shaman's tree. While you're gone, I will find out where Locke is. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, and Tack, if the shaman has been turned into a sheep, and he has any nice shamanic jewelry you think would look good on me, never mind, go on. The bulbous errand boy thinks he can just reach out and take that. <laughs> it's pathetic. Let me show him how wrong he is, Tlayla. <laughs> Needle says he thinks he can take him on all by himself. <laughs> Needle says he can take me on too. Well, come at it, little man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. All right, well, you ain't boring, you dog. Oh, oh, my eye. <laughs> oh, oh, that is Enough. Pins, needles, you will both stop tech together. Oh dear. Afterwards, you can fight as much as you like. Oh! 
mighty spirit rattle. Wow, you got it. I bet your Bobo will want to talk to you. I'll take you to him now. I've got the spirit rattle. It was really hard to get. I had to... Oh, gross. Is that... Is that luck? The mighty warrior himself. He's a quarter of an inch thick. He's a poop -a -no people's pancake. Is he going to be okay? No. He is going to be the opposite of okay. Locke has moved on to the spirit world. But that's not in the prophecy. I know. I am very confused. The prophecy warned us that our people would be turned into sheep by the evil Juju of Tlaloc. The prophecy also told us a mighty warrior would save the Pupununu people. But when Locke tried to calm them down, they crushed him like a bug. Well, can we uncrush him or something? Bring Locke back from the dead? It's very difficult. Well, I'll do it. Only a mighty warrior can do that. We don't have a mighty warrior. <laughs> The spirit rattle will grant you juju vision. You will be able to see the tikis and the magic yorbles throughout the world. You will have to put the tikis into the shrines to call upon juju spirits for help. They may not want to, but if you call upon them, they must help you. How will I find luck? You will need to open an entrance into the spirit world. Once inside, you will be able to fetch Locke's spirit. And you must also collect 100 magic yorbles to make the resurrection spell work. A hundred magic yorbles? Yes, don't complain. When I was a young man, it used to take 10,000 magic yorbles to do a resurrection spell. Lucky me. Now if I only knew what a yorble was... Oh, the spirit rattle. This is a very powerful magical weapon. Whoever possesses the spirit rattle is granted juju vision. I think I see a yorbel over there. Do you see it, Tap? <laughs> yeah, check it out, a yorbel. We need to get a bunch of these for Jabulba. Take the stick out. Cha-ching! Woo! Now that you have the tiki, you should find the shrine so we can summon the jujus for help. When in doubt, take the stick out.
the magnet allows you to pick up mana without having to run right through it. Can you call your mommy or daddy? I need some big adult juju help. I can out juju any juju anywhere. Watch this. Oh, so pretty. But I need someone who could do real grown up, serious juju. Yeah? You ever met a juju who can make the earth move? Oh, baby made an earthquake. Oh, good for baby. Now, uh, is your mom around? You know, I'm gonna show you some real special juju. I'm gonna show you my magic boots! Oh, very special baby boots. You're so lucky. Oh, yeah? It's my lucky baby boots! <laughs> when you're ready to go to Numa Dunes. Tack, this place is called Numa Dunes, but there's much more here than just sand. You'll find canyons, ruins, monstrous bones, and if you learn how to use your sandboard, I bet you find yorbles here too.
Uh, let's try that again, shall we? Crazy Feet Juju spell. It allows you to run faster and jump further.
here. We should try somewhere else now. When in doubt, take the stick out. is called Restoration Dance. Use it any time you need to heal yourself.
gotcha. <laughs> nice. I've seen in 1999 years! You want a party? Because I'm like, die in the party! Woo! <laughs> That's a joke, but it's still true! Look, look, look! Ooh, I got party favors! Yeah! Pinatas! Ole! Magic tricks, board games, cards, cat's cradle, karaoke, s'mores, shadow puppets! Wait! I know what you like. Pin the tail on the rhino, baby! <laughs> hey, 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 uh, you, you should be careful, you're... Quiet! I just said people don't cheat! <gasps> I did it! <gasps> I did it! I win! Oh, yeah! Whoa, Tack. This is a really sacred area. Many special Pupununu ancestors are buried here. Right over there is the entrance to the ceremonial tomb where Juju's worked with the shaman to prepare the Pupununus for life in the spirit world. Here's what we need to do. We need to get the mummies out of their tombs and bring them to the ceremonial tomb. Look, the door's open on that tomb. Let's start there.
Wanna try that again? Shut the lock up. 
When in doubt, take the stick out. Oh, that's gonna...
Do you want to try that again? When in doubt, take the <laughs> stick out. Boom, shakalaka! Boom, baby!
you've just found a powerful juju spell. It's called yeah. Spirit Sight. Now when you wipe out a Nerval, you can see and collect its spirit to use for health and mana. <laughs>
Okay, that's all the Yorbles here. We should try somewhere else now. I've heard of this place. This is the spirit world. There's some way for you to enter spirit form, but we'll have to figure it out as we go. It, it might help us on our journey. Spirit attacks the nearest creature. exists in spirit form too. Maybe he can help us get where we want to go. Hey man, I need some balloons for the party, right? If you can bring like three of them to me, I might be able to help you out. Do it! Come on, Tack. Let's go look for some spirit balloons for Party Boy.
thing. You just found the Juju Compass spell. Now you can find special hidden items. things. boy has all the balloons he wanted. Remember, he said he would help you if you got him the balloons. Ooh, nice job, little dude. Here's a helmet.
is active now. Jump in and see what happens. here. We should try somewhere else now. Nerbles, I bet we can reach Locke's spirit balloon. That's good, little mark. Sweet! 
When in doubt, take the stick out. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I need help. I know, Locke. I'm gonna take you back to Jaboba, and he's gonna put you back in your body. Yeah, yeah. But first, I got this terrible itch. Can you scratch my head? We don't have time. Come on, I can't reach it. Oh, that's good. A little lower. Lower. Oh, oh, oh that's good. Oh, a little more. A little more. Okay, but we gotta go. Who's making all that racket in there? Sir, it's Jaboba's errand boy and the great warrior of legend. Mr. Balloonhead. <laughs> You'll never find your way out of here. No! Watch your deck. I don't want to go kablooey. those leaves. They'll let you know when the wind has calmed down. Careful! Watch where I'm going, Tack. Protect the head! Hey! hey don't scrape face! Okay, I bet Locke will reappear where we first found the spirit balloon. Let's go back. Careful! Watch where I'm going, Tack. Now all we need to do is get enough yorbles and then we can return to Jabulba's hut.
out. Take the stick out. Now you have the ability to cast Spirit Call Juju. It causes Nurble Spirits to automatically come to you. In doubt, take the stick out. Rota man. Okay, that's all the orbs here. We should try somewhere else now. is attached to that elevator over there.
When in doubt, take the stick out. Huh, this looks like another elevator. Yeah. Let's see where it goes.
Sweet! This tiki will let us summon a juju. Let's go find the shrine where this works. Doubt, take the stick out. I think I see a Yorbal over there. Do you see it, Tap? Awesome! You just picked up a Juju power up called Spirit Strike. This one is especially good on flying nervals. Sheep here.
you could stop by. Lovely breeze here in the treetops today. Smells of yummy, fresh meat. I don't smell any yummy, fresh meat. Yes, well, I can show you some if you hand me that key. What key? It opens the cage. I was only supposed to be in here for 10,000 years, but that was up eons ago! Well, okay, but I don't care about any meat. I actually need to find a way through the... Uh, hey, hey, whoa, now get off! The hands off the loincloth! Insolent, yummy, fresh meat! I will fricassee you! I'll fry you alive! Hey, hey, where'd he go? What just happened? Oh, that was a close one. Hope I don't run into him again. I guess he left when he realized you weren't gonna free him. Wow! His spell was so powerful, I think he changed all the coconut trees in the world to grow explosive coconuts. You know, Mountaintop is home to lots of animals. <laughs> I can see why they like it. Plenty of space to roam. You know, the more adventurous Pooper Nunus come through here on their way to Powder Canyon. This is the 
the way to Powder Canyon. If you can get the snowboard, you'll be able to go there. Stick out. where you can get a magical board that rides on the snow. If you can summon the mighty Juju here, he may give it to you. <laughs> Ooh, heads up, these are more of those fire coconuts. <laughs> Careful, these are more of those exploding coconuts.
You have to help me. I need a snowboard. I might help you, but first you must help me. I'm bored in this cage. I want a pet. Sure, what kind? Oh, nothing much. How about a nice fish? No problem. And a sheep. Okay. And an emu. And a rhinoceros. What? Uh, well, uh, how am I supposed Just to- Just be glad I didn't ask for a killer whale and a polar bear and a bee colony. Hmm. Maybe I should. Never mind, never mind. That's enough already. I'll get them.
Wow, too cool. You now have Thunderstrike. Sounds like it blows things up. Excellent. These will be fine pets. What a handsome emu. Now you will get the board you came for. Hmm, let's see. Surfboard, bodyboard, chalkboard, ironing board, circuit board, carving board, shuffleboard, snowboard.
Powder Canyon is the place to snowboard. It's great for both beginners and experts. There are more hidden paths in this canyon than I can count.
help you back up.
carry more mana. Okay, that's all the yorbles here. We should try somewhere else now. Gotcha.
leave a mark. Take the stick out. You just found the longer life juju spell. Now you can battle the nerbals longer before needing to be healed.
sweet. Yes. <laughs> 
Traveler comes to this lonely, cursed gateway. My name is Tack. Uh, I'm here on an important mission. You must open this door immediately. Oh, oh, just a minute. Um, before we can open this portal, we must check the sacred list. The sacred list? What list? You have to be on the sacred list to get in. Let's see, where are you? Um, there's Tabor plus one. And Tadur the Elder, party of three. Tafu oh, Wise. Oh, Tafu dates the most incredible looking Jujus. Remember Gazelda the Gargantua? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Ladies love Taffy, even though he is so wise. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, back, okay. Tag Galag, party of uh, ten. Forget the list. Will you just open this door? Oh, wait Is a minute. A manager um, I can... What did you say your name was again? <sighs> Tack. T A K. Oh, uh, here it is. Tack, party of one. Congratulations, you're on the list, man. Well, then, we'll open the door for you. <laughs> Mr. Tack, party of one. <laughs> hey, zoop, he just took off. I don't know. Same thing that happens every time we open this door. <laughs> Tech, I've watched Lock train here before. This is a dangerous place. You need to be careful. Those lights are your only way to see, and you have to follow them through these caves. Don't get too far behind the light or the Nurbles will get us. Of here. Oh, we should remember to look for Yorbles along the way. Yeah. 
stay there in case we need to go back into that cave again.
bummer. Let me help you back up. Yorbles and Lock Spirit. We should get these back to Jaboba as quickly as possible. in this creepy old place. We're done here. Boom, shakalaka! collected a juju power-up. It's called the Stunner. You should use it when you're facing a lot of nerbles. Boom, baby! Leave a mark. 
Sweet! When in doubt, take the stick out. more powerful than the seven skin peeling stenches of the south. Impossible! It is more deadly than the rancid funk of the stink giant's feet. Ridiculous! I, I can prove it. Pull my finger. Pull your finger? No way! Pull my finger. Don't ever stick your finger in my face again. <gasps> no! Thank <laughs> you. 
wipe it. Uh-uh. You're gonna wipe it. It's not my turn to wipe it. Wait a minute. I'm not the one who ate choo-choo chili. Well, we'll just have to leave it unwiped. Somebody's out there. Um, I know it. Hello? Just a minute. You win. I'll wipe it. Sometime today? Oh, sorry. We were just uh, doing some paperwork, you know. Yeah. Dude doing it. Uh, shush, 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 shush. Be quiet. Hey, guys, listen. I'm stuck. Can you give me a hand? Uh-uh. Not that hand. We can help you, but you have to prove your bravery and your worthiness. You must go in there. Oh, 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 come on. Anything but that, that's just cruel. What? Too scared to go inside? Why? Are you just a little chicken? Chicken little? Little chicken? <laughs> I wrote that. No, I'm not a chicken. I'll do it. Let's try this thing out, Tack. Jump off this cliff. I know that looks like a long jump, but because you're wearing the chicken suit, you can kind of fly. Try flapping your wings by rapidly pressing the jump button. If you want to glide, just let go of the jump button. Go ahead, try it. goofy in that chicken suit. <laughs> okay, there's some things you need to know as well. Water and the suit don't mix. If the suit gets too wet, it'll disappear, but don't let that stop you. I know you can make it to that island out there. Jump into it with your chicken suit on and press the jump button. I bet you can get some serious air up there. Remember, air vent good, water vent bad.
mountain that you can drop explosive eggs while you're gliding high in the sky? Try it on those pesky nurbles in that pit. Good luck, Tack.
a juju power-up called conversion. Quick, we need to find a nerbal and turn it into a chicken. <laughs> I love this juju. to go from any world to any other world.
When in doubt, take the stick out. <laughs> Hello, Jaboba. I am so glad to be back. Ah, at last, Locke's spirit. Now, we will resurrect him. Hey! Oh! Ah, uh, I, Locke, savior of the Pupanunu people, am alive again. It is so good to be me. Locke, now is the time to fulfill your destiny. Yeah, we're all in terrible danger. We really need you to save us, Locke. All of my training has prepared me for this moment. I am ready, Jabulba, for I am the mighty warrior called for by the Papoo. Oh, Papoo, Boo. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Jabulba, where's the. Out the door, around the back. <sighs> What's wrong with him? This always happens when people get resurrected. They call it Locked. Resurrection's Revenge. Whoa. We'll just have Somebody. to be patient. Please. Stay away from him. Turn me off! Ow, 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 yow! Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Heck, oh. there is no more time. You'll have to get the Moonstones while Locke recovers. <gasps> Me? <gasps> this magic amulet will help. It, it increases your abilities when you're at full strength. Oh, it's like lava, baby. Ah. All right, I'll go. But try to help Locke. <gasps> Resurrection's Locke revenge is a here. terrible thing. Oh, sweet Juju. Wow! The Amulet of the Champion. It looks good on you. I'll let you in on a little secret. This amulet is most of the reason Locks is so special. It has magical powers. As long as you're at full health, it'll cause you to run faster and jump higher and farther. Boom! Boom, baby! When in doubt, take the stick out. Holy smokes! Tlaylock has turned this entire area into a giant puzzle! No doubt he doesn't want us to get the Moonstone. Hey, Dak, is it just me, or do you hear music coming from up there?
This should be a really useful juju spell you just discovered. Now you can summon a melon anytime you need one. Take the stick out.
Looks like pins and needles are challenging you to a sacred dance ritual to win the Moonstone. Just move to the beat and you should be fine. The trick is to touch the glowing stones. That will make the dance pad move toward the Moonstone. Get there first and you'll win. Ready, set, go! Come on, Tap!
gonna lose <laughs> <Sweet. laughs> When in doubt, take the stick out. The stick out. The Sun Temple's been here for way longer than I can remember. Many of its secrets have been lost. You'll have to figure them out if we plan to find the Moonstone. Those jars are full of some kind of oil. You may be able to use them to start fires. I think the hot floors will ignite the oil. Man, go 
Leave a mark.
summon a fire coconut anytime you need one. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna leave a mark.
in doubt, take the stick out. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Okay, stud, you got one chance before I show him how it is done. somewhat crispy. Now sit back and watch how it is done. Yes! You collected a moonstone! 
stone. Pins and needles are no match for you. I remember this place. The moon juju brought me here once. I'm pretty sure the moonstone we're looking for is at the top of the temple. All we need to do is find a way up there.
It looks like you need to find a key. Hmm. I wonder what that would look like in this place. When in doubt, take the stick out. Ha <laughs> ha 
to see what happens. When in doubt, take the stick out.
now, Tack. Look, it's pins and needles again. What are those two idiots up to this time? Ugh, we better get rid of them so we can get the Moonstone. Chickens sure are protective of those eggs. So, do you want to try that again? for a while and I noticed pins and needles always go to the chickens that are lit up. for a while and I noticed pins and needles always go to the chickens that are lit up.
down. Pins and needles are no match for you. Juju, I have brought you the mighty warrior, as foretold in the Pupununu people's prophecy. I can see that. He's smaller than I thought he would be. I am? Well, I haven't been feeling well lately. I've lost some weight. Tack! Give Locke the Juju magic you have collected. He must go and defeat Laylock and fulfill the prophecy. Oh, don't you listen to him, Tack. But Locke is... Dead wrong. The mighty warrior. Says who? I tried him. You wasted your time. But the prophecy says... Doesn't say anything about Locke. Tack is the mighty warrior of the Pupununu people's prophecy. What? what? I'm the mighty warrior? Of course. You've done everything that the prophecy says the mighty warrior will do. That's all it takes. But I'm not... <laughs> Don't argue with me. But I can't... Shh, 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 shh. I... Young man, you may be the mighty warrior, but that doesn't mean I can't use my juju to give you Resurrection's revenge. Oh! Um... Okay. Um, what have I got to do? It's simple. You're ready to face Claylock now. All you have to do is jump through the portal. <laughs> this is too sudden. I wasn't re... <laughs> Attack, you know how I've been telling you a little about each place we visited? Well, I don't have anything to say about the Dark Temple except be careful. I don't like this place. You can't hope to defeat me, boy. You are no champion. You simply do not possess the power. Bring it on, old man. Sweet. Dini, Kalini, Babo. The amulet is protecting you from two lost spells. Run away while I try to figure this out.
piece of cake to destroy that. Oh! Uh oh! That feels strange. Come over here, Dad. I have an idea. Lilac's power. Now you can use it against him. No! Bring him here. I'll take care of him. Bye bye, Lilac. Source destroyed, the villagers will return to normal. Too bad Tleilak was so close to the blast. Looks like he's stuck being a sheep. Oh Aw, look, Tack. Tleilak's made some new friends. Yeah, close personal friends. Wow, who would have guessed? Me, the mighty warrior, saved the tribe, rescued the moon goddess, and whipped Tleilock. <laughs> hey, maybe I won't have to sweep Jaboba's hut anymore. Smash. Wham.